What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Time for another review. Today we're going to take a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Series Cobra Range Viper. I'm going to apologize ahead of time if the audio is uh, sounds like dog water because my external mic busted up. Got to get a new one. So I guess we're both having to deal with it right now. Let's get started. It's Kato! First up, let's talk about the packaging. I'm going to say it every time. I'm not a fan of the sealed packaging. I like to see what's inside the box, but at least that doesn't look like a render on the front, even though it's a render and artwork on the back. QR code for the stats. Don't like that either. Give me file cards any day of the week. Uh, there on the back, you get a glimpse at a render of the figure and the accessories. Let's open this weird ass thing up. Let's talk about the accessories first thing i'm going to say is the same thing i've been saying a while now for joe i don't know if it's changed or if just i'm used to getting better weapons but the gummy weird soft plastic weapons are, are it's trash i don't like them at all uh, they look all right uh physically but i mean it bends man i mean i don't it will eventually mold back in place i think but this I don't know if you can tell, but there's a slight S-curve to his rifle. Uh, it does have a cool feature where you can put the uh, magazine here into the bottom and feed the ammo through. That's backwards, idiot. Uh, you can put that into the bottom and feed the ammo through there. So that's kind of cool. That's a neat little feature. I definitely think... Uh, Vala does a better job of getting that point across, but still, I think it is a, a nice little touch to add to the weapons and the ammo looks okay, I guess. You get a bandolier, uh, to go around his shoulder, uh, feels all right. Feels like a little bit too much of a tug and that'll tear his, look at this. This is what I mean. That is horrid. What are you going to shoot with that? It's going to fire around and shoot you right in the, your own ass. That's terrible. It does have the little uh, blast effect spot if you have some of those. But that's a straight up S-curve right there for that launcher or shotgun, whatever you want it to be. Uh, it is... That's bad. That's should They should be embarrassed. You get a small handgun, all in black magazine, uh, extended magazine there, molded into it. You get this super weird sigh. Uh, which is the sound I made when I saw the bent weapons. Uh, but uh, blade here, soft plastic, it's all right. And you get basically like a fireman's axe, uh, combat tactical axe. It's okay. A little, little bit crooked, that. Uh, you get a kerchief or a shamal to go around his neck. Just slides on over. You have his backpack, which has... Is that ammo on the back? That's easy to get to. A uh, little bit of paint there for some details, like a radar or a grid readout, a red button there. Don't push the red button. Blue for the canister. And this hose, which I don't think actually plugs in anywhere. Maybe it does. I don't know. But it just kind of uh, hangs out. Maybe it's just a rebreather or something for whatever is in that tank. Nice peg. And uh, yeah more crooked soft plastic so taking a look at the actual figure i gotta say i i'm actually kind of a fan of diving into the 90s gi joe stuff the more weird obscure off the wall stuff like you know i don't know a soldier with his brain sticking out of a skull mask i think that's fine i actually like that era of real american hero i think it's fun um and i love cobra for all the quirky weirdness that they can do that the Joes really can't get away with. Um, every single problem I have with the weapons is amplified when he's armed up. Uh, the backpack peg doesn't quite want to stick in there all the way well enough. Uh, the bandolier looks fine, I think. It serves the purpose. And I can't really see how wonky... Uh, the uh, grenade launcher is while it's in his hand like this, but I just know it's there. Um, 
it's a really good looking figure for what it is. It's exactly as goofy as it should be. Uh, downside uh, of the figure the way it is now, I, I, I think uh, Hasbro is normally pretty good about allowing you to put all the accessories stored onto the figure. Uh, right now I've got everything on him except for uh, the uh, machine gun and the axe. I uh, would have liked somewhere to put the axe and maybe I'm, I'm mistaken and there is a place but uh, he's got one little slot here on his left side to put something and the weird sigh is about the only thing that I can imagine fitting in there. That being said, I think I like him looking like this just fine. And the other accessories to me uh, aren't as useful. I think he looks good. Uh, let's get a close up look at it. So I got most of the bells and whistles off of there now. I still have his handgun in his holster and the bandolier on because I just think that should stay there. Uh, paint and detail wise, it looks like it should. The crazy blue skull mask with the gray matter uh, of his brain sticking through this weird harness with the creepy red and black eyes. The black detail right there behind the blue of the skull adds some depth there. I think that's brilliant. The head sculpt is the big winner here. I can see people using this head sculpt to kip ash and custom to do all kind of crazy stuff. Uh, the blue on the shoulders and the Cobra emblem pops just fine. The rest of the black is a bit dull with that gray. I know it's accurate, but it still kind of looks boring when you compare how crazy the rest of it is. Details on the pouch, uh, the little uh, sheath or holster here for his side. Everything looks like it should. Nice detailing in the pants, pinless joints and elbows. Articulation is what we've come to expect with classified. That's what we think. It, it's, it's really... Uh, pretty standard. I will say that the elbow joint here is just a tad loose. You can see that sometimes the pinless on that black plastic that tends to be a little softer doesn't really come through that well. Uh, pouches here on his chest. Um, I also had a little bit of looseness in his hips, but it seems to not be as bad as what I was dealing with when I was first uh, messing with this guy. Uh, the holster is two is loose pieces. The pouches here is a loose piece that you could take off if you wanted to. The belt is loose if you wanted to remove that. And I believe, I don't know if the harness actually has a connecting bit, but if you wanted to pop this guy apart, you could take that vest off as well. Uh, overall, it looks like it should. Uh, it does have a nice ab crunch in there covered up. It's ugly, but it's covered up by that vest, butterflies, uh, all the other rotation and everything that we've come to know with classified. Nothing really groundbreaking here as far as scale goes. There he is beside Rock and Roll and Tunnel Rat. There he is beside some uh, Mythic Legions and... Uh, a walk. Let, I mean, let's be fair. It's a strange enough looking character. You can mix that dude into all kinds of lines if you want. I do love that head sculpt though. In closing, the figure is exactly what I expected it to be. And some of those expectations were pretty low. I assumed the weapons were going to be pretty bendy and gummy, which is garbage. It's horrible. Uh, they should be ashamed of themselves. But the actual figure itself is exactly what I wanted. It, it's a range viper. It's goofy, it's 90s, or getting into that 90s era. It's built well, only a few little, I mean, and I'm nitpicky when I say the arm was a little loose. I mean, you saw it's barely wiggling there. But still, at this point, for the price range you're getting, give me some solid weapons and a little better QC Hasbro, or else uh, I'm going to be running out of reasons to buy Joe's. And I, I don't want to do that because I really, really enjoy G.I. Joe. It's a range viper. It's what it should be. You have no idea what it means to me that you guys watch this. Um, however many of you do, I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. Until uh, next time, this is Kato signing out. See you around like a donut.